now the number five greatest dance of all time, Fred Bolitnikoff. Fred Bolitnikoff, flanker back from Florida State. He was not really fast, he was not really big, but he always caught the ball and he made spectacular catches. Holy Toledo! Fred Bolitnikoff's remarkable catches during the 60s and 70s made him a superstar and helped him slide into the number five spot on our list. Greatest hand. Fifth. Throws for Bolitnikoff. Touchdown, Raiders! No. Fifth. Come on. Throwing to Bolitnikoff. Super catch. Touchdown, Raiders! You have to be kidding me. The moves made on all pro safety Johnny Robinson were phenomenal. But the rest... That was pure desire. He read a defense better than most quarterbacks because he couldn't outrun somebody, he could not physical somebody, but he had to go find that spot that nobody was in. And nobody was better at finding the open hole than uh, Blitnikoff. He was a guy who created quite a sensation in his era. The mystique of the Raiders was born in the 1970s, and it was the hands of Fred Bolitnikoff that helped build the Raider Nation. The will to win has been a dominating theme of the Raider organization, and while no player has epitomized that will more than Fred Bolitnikoff, I will remember him most because he hated to lose. There are Raiders that are Raiders and Oakland Raiders, and Fred Bolitnikoff is the ultimate Oakland Raider. First of all, he had the old school you know, double bar face mask. Nobody wears that face mask anymore, but he was tough. He had the eye black underneath, and he just epitomized maybe what a real old school, tough wide receiver should play and look like. He throws one for Belinda Kopp, a fine catch at the 15. He's creamed at the 46 yard line of the Chiefs. And that's kind of a neat thing to see in this day and age when most guys are just looking for a paycheck or a handout. There is something to Fred Belitnikov really believing in the silver and black. Bolitnikov had great hands, but his sticky fingers might be his lasting legacy. My locker was right next to Freddy's. He would take stick them all over the forearms, all over that tape to make it a real sticky surface. And he would put it on the inside of his sock on each side. And that was his supply during the course of a game. When he needed stick them, he reached down and get the stick them off his socks. The equipment manager, Dick Romanski, came up to me and uh, I pulled out this jar of stick them. No, he says, you know, start using some of this, and that, that's how I got started using it. He had stickum oozing off his elbows. He had it on his legs. He had it on his forearms. And oh my, he must have had stickum on his fingers for that one. Well, it wasn't illegal, so you can use it. Any chance to get an edge, the Raiders of the 70s were going to get an edge. With the Raiders, we always said cheating was encouraged, you know, until they found out about it, and they finally outlawed it. The NFL banned Stick'em in 1980, four years after Bolitnikoff was named MVP of Super Bowl XI. Super Bowl, he made a real clutch catch. Snake threw the ball about an inch off the ground, he goes down and gets it. The only place that Kenny could get it to him, he did it. A brilliant work of art by the master of his position, Fred Bolitnikoff. Best hands in the NFL ever. Fred Bolitnikoff's playmaking has stood the test of time, and our number five greatest pair of hands has become the standard for future generations of receivers. Fred Bolitnikoff made a great catch. Well, the Bolitnikoff Award is given every year for the top receiver in uh, college football. He is the only receiver on your list that has an award named after him for receivers. What does that say? He lost his right game for Bolitnikoff behind Clark. Fred deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. Fred deserved to be one or two on that best hands list.